everyone and welcome to my second YouTube video and very first voiceover. I've been eating tons of fruit lately, so I knew that I had to make nail art to match. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. We are going to go from left to right, so let's start off with the strawberry nail. The first thing you want to do is apply a base coat to keep your nails all happy and healthy and not yellow, and then go in with two coats of a red polish of your choice. I'm applying a top coat over the red to seal in that color and create a smooth surface for the design. I'm starting off with white acrylic paint and drawing a few jagged points. I really don't know how to describe it, but this is going to represent the leaves on top of the strawberry. The reason I painted this in white first is so that the green will stand out against the red because otherwise it might not show up very well. Once all of the white is covered up with green, add some tiny little vertical yellow lines to represent the strawberry seeds and add a top coat and you are done with the strawberry. Now we are on to the watermelon nail. Once again apply your base coat and two coats of a white polish. My apologies for the horrible, cringeworthy application. It was a really old white polish. Now it's really important that you apply a top coat because whenever you're using vinyls like this, your nail has to be 100% dry and be top coated so that you don't ruin the polish that's underneath. Apply the French tip vinyl in the middle of your nail and then paint the left side with red. Then go in with a paintbrush and green nail polish to create the watermelon rind and leave a white strip in the middle. Now paint three evenly spaced black dots with acrylic paint or polish and round them out to make them look like watermelon seeds. And last but certainly not least, add your top coat and we will be moving on to the orange nail. You probably know the drill by now. Start out by adding your base coat to your nail and then paint two coats of an orange polish. Once again, be sure to apply a top coat to protect the orange because we'll be going in with a fun little circular gradient. This will add a little bit of a 3D look and add some more depth for a really cool effect. Here I'm peeling off my peel off product that I will link down below and now I'm outlining the nail circularly or however you say that. Just make it into as much of a circle or oval as you can. Then add a little dot in the middle with vertical, horizontal, and diagonal lines, eight of them to be exact, to create the effect of an orange. Now round out the edges so that it has that circular teardrop shape and you are done. Add that top coat to seal in the design. And at last we come to the final design, the kiwi, on my tiny little pinky nail. Apply two coats of a green polish after your base coat and top coat it for the last time. With a bobby pin or dotting tool, add some white acrylic paint or polish in an oval formation on the center of your nail, then draw several thin lines coming out of that oval as the center of the kiwi appears, and add some black dots, tiny ones that is, in pretty much two rows around the oval. I don't really don't know how to describe this, I guess you can just follow the video. I, it's past midnight, I really should sleep. Anyways, you are done. Use some top coat. I obviously used way too much. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and hear me mess up my words. I really appreciate every single one of you and do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Until next time.